Blood Brothers Podcast, a five pit is a mad monolith production. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers, sisters, friends, and yes, even foes. And welcome to another episode of the Blood Brothers Podcast with your host, Didi Hussain, and my co host, Aki Hussain. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. And today we have yet another special guest. And I guess every episode is going to have loads of special guests, but today's one is truly special. Uh, for those of you at least know him and who have heard of him, and that's Brother Zishan Ali, aka Smile to Jannah. Oh, you can move the mic with the knock. <laughs> Has everyone told you that you've got a particular kind of nose that may be attributed to probably a different demographic of people? Who? I'm not going to say it for particular correctness and probably for not getting down for hate speech. Oh my god, we know what kind of. <laughs> Are you okay? You're going to knock this. You're going to knock the mic off, bro. Yeah, it is, bro. Just the end of the podcast, just... bro. Anyway, um, so you will. Can't start off with that. Why are you coming here trying to tell us how to do the podcast? I Labour know. Party. Jeremy Corbyn. Got That's fine. He's going to be the next Prime Minister soon. For a snap election. We, what? Jeremy do, do, you, do you think Jeremy Corbyn's going to be the next Prime this Minister? Is this a snap election? Yeah. Considering the power I don't of think corporations. So. Thank you. I don't think so. I like you, bro. That is hopeful. And I think you have very good skin. MashaAllah. Oh, thank you, bro. That's, uh, that's really nice of you to say that. I think, MashaAllah, you're a, a very handsome man. Alhamdulillah Dili, you Do you think are, Dili's? I do, think, do you look like brothers? I think he's average Okay So average is 5 out of 10? I, well, I was being generous with average 30 Okay So what would you score him out of 10? What would you score him out of 10? I mean 10 <laughs> is a relative I mean Are we dealing minus numbers or Okay What's the uh... a 10 either way Zashan <laughs> You know, he's, going, he's going for the pun. You know, he was in a mad one with the pun yesterday. He hit double digits. Smash. Look, your servings. The point I'm trying to make is that I've, I've seen some of your previous podcasts and, look, and, and you seem to disrupt it a lot. Look, Why do you do that for? Look, I know you're on that pun thing, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you know, go to your support group, you know, that. I think I think I'm out. I think I'm out. <laughs> Why do you disrupt podcasts? Why do you do that for? What do you mean? You do, you come on to man's podcast, you did it with Musa on Rerooted, you did it on Infi, you just come on, you, 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 you shake off the, the host, and it's like this kind of very tacit, uh, subconscious... But what does tacit mean? Tacit means like it's not overt. It's what does overt sort of, mean? There we go. Huh? It's not obvious. Do you think you're funny? <laughs> Genuinely, genuine question. Do you do think, I think funny? I'm funny? Do you think you're funny? It depends. Certain situations, certain people bring it out of me. How is someone's level of humour measured? Is it by the person saying they're funny themselves or is it a consensus of people who view them? Right? I, I would agree with that second one. Yeah, you can't say yourself, yeah, yeah I think I'm funny, bruv. Yeah. You ask me, the people say, so-and-so is really funny, you know that you should watch his stuff. Yeah. But you can't, do you think people say that about you? Yeah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. they do. Because it's subjective. Like I personally... But you mean like 12-year-old kids, right? 12-year-old kids, alhamdulillah, also do. But that's mainly your target In addition to... I wish it was, bro. You know, if 12-year-old um, kids were my target audience, I'd, I would have smashed it. That would mean Do it that... properly. Do it properly. Come on. Sound test. I'm going to get an injury doing wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, I did the sound in later. Yeah, we'll do something and we'll make it like a okay. wild noise. So back to your target audience. Yeah. Zishan. If it was 12, you know what it would have? What? It would have um, quick cuts, it would have colour, it would have excitement. And if you get the kids at that age, bro, you've locked them in. They're going to grow up now watching your stuff. I wouldn't say that maybe with the sketches at the start they did, now with the political videos, it's going to be different now, Dili. Once you hit that 100,000 subscriber age, you flipped it, innit? Yeah, alhamdulillah. I thought, you know what, why not? So who is so who is your target audience then? If My target audience. I, always thought, I thought it was like the twelve to sixteen year olds. You thought wrong, Dilly. Okay, fine. Enlighten me. Yeah, correct us. All right. My target audience are the non-practicing. Yeah, I used to work with scholars on certain videos that they would do, and it wouldn't reach the people who we thought it would be reaching because they look at somebody and he's talking about the day of judgment for an hour. Uh, and so, some people can't relate with that So I was like Okay how do we get to the people That actually need it And comedy at that time It was big Like Vine Big 
YouTube big. What time? What what kind of period are we talking? This was two thousand and. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe twenty. Oh five. No, twenty twelve. Two thousand six was when YouTube started. Yeah. Approximately. I'd say maybe six, seven. So years. you're talking about YouTube platform only, yeah? So you weren't doing things before that. You weren't making video clips and circulating. No, no, circulating no, no, no. YouTube games. was a thing. YouTube was a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, I mean, uh, before YouTube, I, I had. Uh, yeah, so prior to YouTube, where were you? I had dial up internet, so. Okay. No, we so so didn't have dial up internet. Yeah, so prior to YouTube, you were a nobody, right? Adoken! Prior to YouTube, I was a somebody. Nobody. To my mum. Okay. Mm, oh, come on. Yeah, come my mum had just said. <sighs> Are you you be can done? become whatever you want to. He knows. Yeah. You know why I like him? Why do you like him, Deshaun? I asked you, your target audience, I always thought, but yeah, that's the truth. I thought it was all his kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're trying to tell me that I it's wish new. it was. What I'm saying is that would be an advantage. The thing is, you can't get those kids because they're, we're, we're competing with Avengers. We're, we're competing with Captain Marvel. We're, we're competing with Transformers. What's this madness? It's conspiracies. That's that's why I'm here. Okay, so you're one of them arrivals, Muslims, basically. Was it be that the Zionists were, were behind everything? The Jews were on, on day off on 9/11. But you started off the podcast like that. I haven't said anything. Well, <laughs> no, I heard well, there's there is there, there's a false there's a false narrative out there that on 9/11 all the Jews were took a day off work. Are you one of those guys? No comment, bro. Oh no. my days! So you're not even gonna deny it. I'm not gonna accept it. Um. And I'm not gonna accept it. Okay. <laughs> Is that enough content for you? No. <laughs> Declassified. I don't know. I don't know. When it comes to that sort of stuff, to be honest, I, I don't. I don't. I don't totally ignore it just because I'm supposed to. But I, I look at the evidence, and there there are evidences, but it's not enough for me to conclusively say, oh, this definitely happened, or that didn't happen. So from your, so the from thing with conspiracies is there's always going to be incomplete evidence. Okay. And the evidence that you need are from those very people you're trying to refute. So, from your research, just to Angie. just to put this point, just to put this point to bed, from your research, did you find that good one, great one, great that's, one, and that's that's, that's what I told that's you. That's a race pulses. Yeah, that was a good sound test, isn't it? TK, use that as a cushion. Yeah. So, from your research, did you find that Jews had taken some time off work on 9/11? I I I I haven't looked too much into this whole 9/11 stuff, and with the whole Jews thing. I, I don't know. I don't know too much to comment on that. Okay. To be honest. Have you heard this conspiracy? I've heard the conspiracy, and um, that they all took a day off work on that day. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. I think it's quite outrageous. I mean, if that was the case, that's ludicrous. Okay, but you said no comment. I I mean I that's because I can't comment. I don't know enough. And the thing is, when you start commenting on stuff that you don't know, mm. and there's and you don't have. The, the evidence to back it up You end up looking like this conspiracy cook But you seem to do a lot of that in your news recap Don't you? You talk about a lot of things you don't really have a grasp on No, I, I talk about stuff that's there clearly on mainstream media Maybe without some whack narrative of you thinking you're funny over news You can't Thinking? Can't, yeah, you can't trivialise news Yeah, you, you can Yeah, you're mocking journalism, that's what you're doing I know So why do you do that for? They deserve to be mocked not really, you're a YouTuber, I think you should stay in your lane. Journalists course. are not doing journalism. They ceased to do journalism about half a year, half a century ago. Oh really? Yeah. I still do journalism. Mate, you, you do five pillars, yeah? And you clearly change the logo and you can't be bothered to change it over here, mate. That's why I hid it behind the TV screen. But then what about on the TV screen? Yeah. <laughs> it's old file, isn't it? <laughs> We're waiting for a graphic designer to pull out the new one. Bro, bro. All I'm saying, bro... Mm. Is journalism is not what it used to be. It's like what Howard Zen said. If no. you want to find out the news, you have to go to the dark corners of the library. You have to get these uh, leaflets from these. And these news cuttings from many, 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 many years ago and these old reports. Yeah, bro, <clears throat> come on. Like, so so, people, like, have you? When's the, when's the last time you heard when that da when David Cameron did it with that pig's head? Oh, that died down very quickly. That Michael Gove with the cocaine. That's gonna die die down very quickly. A lot of this stuff. But those things aren't Bush, really... Bush comes from Skull and Bones, and Skull and Bones have their own island. Mm. They, uh, they, they have these weird ceremonies like lying naked in a coffin, kissing skulls, eating from Hitler's uh, cutlery. That's it's known stuff. Skull and Bones originated from Yale. Yeah, that's mm. standard stuff. 
but people don't talk about it. So before we you don't talk about it. I've not seen our five pillars. Because it's, really, it's not really our thing, to be honest. We don't, we don't, I, I'll tell you why that is. is because we don't want to be tarnished and we don't want to be seen as people who perpetuate conspiracy theories. But that's not conspiracy theory. It's a fact. Okay. Okay. But fine. What news value does it have to the Islam and Muslims? What relevance, what direct relevance when, our, when the Muslims... I'd, I'd say it does. What do Muslims do with that information? Yeah, what do we do with that? So, what? okay, wow, they do this wild stuff. What a bunch of... Mm, characters Lunatics Disgusting because You know why bro because Now uh, we just dislike them more <laughs> Even that though you, You're assuming When you say We dislike them more You're assuming That people dislike them But when I was growing up I, I you fit like, in with you this like, narrative You like George W. Bush Even though the portion When I grew up bro mm. My my mum came into this country I was born here And we, I mean, she she received help from the from from the state and whatnot, and we kind of grew up and just just trying to fit in and everything. So this this whole thing that okay, you get educated, you get the A grade. When you get A grade, then you know these are the respectable professions. Politician was amongst them. Lawyer is amongst them. Doctor is amongst them. Mm. But when you realize that doctors are being tarnished by pharmaceuticals, lawyers are being tarnished by what they can and they can't say, and laws can be written and they can be wiped out, and even that's not fair, depending on who's being paid off. And same with politicians. No, but these are political processes. These things happen. They've been happening for centuries. No, but that's the thing, bro. People don't know. The average person like me, I'm talking about myself when I was young. Mm. I, I keep saying, okay, what if there's another me? And that other me is going to think that the world is a utopia. Mm. They, that genuinely, if you're a good person, you will do well. And that's what we, our kids are in a bubble in school until the age of 16. We're in a bubble. At home, we're in a bubble. Our parents tell us what to watch. One, well, the good parents anyway. Mm. So when you finally, you know, leave that bubble, you're in for a rude awakening. So you, you come up to the rubbish podcasts like Blood Brothers and, mm. you know... No, no, I'm not including you in this, obviously. I didn't. I, I, did, I imagine you didn't. This kind of bigoted thing on camera would have been dealt with very differently. Oh, come on, bro. I, I don't even know what that means. Yeah? <laughs> Carry on, you'll find out what it means. Carry what? Carry on doing what you're doing, you'll find out well, what it means. Well, let her carry here. <laughs> hey, look. That's what I'm going to do when you spawn me, bro. Like. So, Shambra, I want to ask you, yeah? You know, you're talking about. The general, the general public, the layman person, yeah, who thinks, you know what, if you're a good person, you're going to grow up, you're going to be, you're going to be successful. Oh, you, live, you live the good life, yeah? 100%, bro. What's the link then between... Same with X Factor and Brain's Got Talent. People line up, bro, in those queues thinking, you know what, I'll I've go. got what it takes, mate. Yeah. I've got what it takes. Yeah. And uh, the right platform for me. Simon is just there, is like, that What was do you think I'm going to say to you? That's a no from me. Mm. Correct. Goodbye. <laughs> you probably used to hearing that but a lot again, in your But life, again, brother, I can't see the connection between bringing to light this type of information. Allah. For example, the one that you just mentioned about skull and bones yeah. and all this stuff. Okay, good point. And good I can't point. see the connection between that and then the general public. Do you know what? You're right. This world isn't a utopia. I am good, but I'm not going to have anything my way. I can't, what's the connection? What, what's the connection between getting that type of news opposed to your <coughs> more traditional it, news? It, it would mean, you know what? Rather than aiming for the likes of Sky, BBC and Fox... Yeah, which we see all the time. You're literally aiming your whole life to get in a spot on that. You you open you open up other avenues. You get people to look at alternative media, like Five and a Half Pillars, like you know Islam Twenty One C, and all of these. Otherwise, if someone's glued on BBC thinking it's the God's truth, you're not gonna look at anything else because you're gonna think everything's from there. I remember when I was at school, they said, "Oh, there's a documentary about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam coming on BBC." I was like, "So the hell what?" And the next day, everyone would be like, "Oh, they got this wrong. They got that wrong." Were you surprised? It was, was it the Ragga Omar one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. There, there were a yeah, few. Yeah, a couple. In my time. I think Ragga Omar was that BBC Channel no, Four. No, no, then it was the Tom Holland one, was it not? Mm. Yeah, God knows, mate. But all I know was it was. It was, it was some a madness. Mess. Yeah. It was a mess, but that's the thing. When when you realize that you know what, you don't rely on these people for morals. You don't look up to them in that sense. There are other career options. There are uh, other career choices. There is not just one way of thinking. There are other way of thinking. And genuinely, you know, the mainstream actually pushes you further away from the dean. It pushes you further. Like I, if I relied on the mainstream today, maybe God knows I would have left the dean. Would you consider five pillars to be mainstream? No. Are you a conspiracy theorist? If by conspiracy theorist, no. you mean someone who believes reptiles are ruling or running the royal family or the earth is flat or the moon is a satellite designed to spy on us, or then that, no, I'm not. Or that people of the Jewish faith took a day off work on 
I mean, there is some truth to that, what? but again, I haven't looked into it. But how can you say there's some truth to that? Because there's certain evidences that have come to light, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't looked into it in the sense that is it a primary source, is it a secondary source? Sometimes we take something based upon testimony when you've heard it from six, seven different sources, but that's not necessarily a primary source. I think the, I think the issue with what's understood as conspiracy theory is that even when you pick a particular subject, right? And you have studied some evidences pertaining to this theory, right? And you can substantiate it. I think what the issue with conspiracy theory is, what's widely understood is, then what? What can no, you do with it? No, I wouldn't say that. I thought, I thought you were going to say this, that whenever conspiracy theory is mentioned, it's kind of the logical fallacy that, that that's kind of employed is um, argument, uh, it's... What was the thing again, yeah, mate? Pick up your notes. I need to... It was appealing to extremes and appealing to absurdity. Mm. This is what they do with Alex Jones. Mm. Yeah, Sorry, not Alex Jones, David Icke. Yeah? He's got brilliant points, but he's mentioned that reptilian thing, and they just hook on to that. Yeah, it's game over. Yeah? Mm. And that's it. You appeal to extreme. It's the same what they do with Muslims. Yeah, Death of a prostate. Prophet marrying Aisha. That's what they do. That's how they start off with. When we try it with Boris, mm. like uh, calling black people pickaninnies and yeah. watermelon smiles, yeah. nah, mate, that's that's the past, mate. Yeah. If you mean, cons- are you a conspiracy theorist in the regard of, or in the sense that the one narrative that's given to you by those in power, like the government, are you critical of that? Yeah. So I would say I'm a critical thinker or I'm a conspiracy realist but if you go back to the time of uh, John F. Kennedy, this term conspiracy theorist was weaponized at his time. Mm. Yeah, it, this is in uh, in a document ten thirty five nine sixty. Yeah, and it, this term was weaponized. Why? Because there were a lot of people questioning the narrative, so they weaponized this term to disparage the people who would speak against this. No, but it's no, but but, but 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 it's no longer a conspiracy theory once you've substantiated it with primary or even secondary evidence the point i'm trying to make to you is that certain topics no 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 you're right you're right no, no but there's certain topics that we choose to pursue but then what then so what no 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 no. so no, what not even sure? that bro I, I, I disagree because you say it's it's no longer conspiracy theory on paper but in the minds of people it still is john f kennedy mm. his murder yeah. is still regarded as a conspiracy theory yes yeah. but it's widely understood yeah that he, he clearly that the official narrative is false. In fact, his brother was killed. Mm. And even that narrative was false as well. It's so, a joke. So have you looked much into the JF Kennedy assassination? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are you, of, are you of the thinking that obviously he was going against the grain of the American establishment and hence he had to get taken out? 100%. Okay. Well, I wouldn't say 100%. That's exactly. Wrong. So, so 100% is that a statement of a conspiracy theorist? 100%? You can't even say 100% in science. 100% is like when we're talking like, yeah... Uh, I, I like Aki more 100%. You know what I mean? But it's not 100%. It's 99.99999%. At that moment. Yeah, that's so, what I'm so saying. So there's, there's still a 0.001 reoccurring hope for me that you may like me more than my brother. When you put it like that, bro. Mathematically, it's an impossibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What happened when you visited the Freemason building or something? You went there not too long ago. What did you Nothing find? happened, mate. So why'd you go there then? I wanted to because I was curious because the way this whole conspiracy thing was put out, they made it seem like this whole Freemasons don't exist. It's just a few videos on, on the YouTube. No, the Freemasons do exist. We know no, that. No, but that's the thing. No, when you say we, it's it's you and uh, Auntie Bushra. Mm. But when you look at the mainstream, you've got some people like, oh, God. soon as certain, what their trigger was, bro. It's like terrorist, boop, Delhi. You know what I mean? It's an example. <laughs> you know, obviously, you just, fit the profile, just you know? For, just for the record. You know, the pirate bait, you know, it's suspicious. Just for the record. You know. I have not engaged in any kind of terrorism acts or anything or any preparation or proliferation. Uh, just, just to clarify. That. What about funding? Huh? What about funding? You didn't mention that. So does that mean you've been? No, no, no. But funding. you didn't mention that. Though. Funding as well. You said any type. To be fair, I just All said. Right, fair. Yeah, because go. he said that, bro. I'll, yeah. I'll take. I'll just take keep him on check when he gets a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So why did you go there? Why did you go to that building? Curiosity, bro. And what did you do? You find anything? Yeah, I found the building. Okay, but was there anything in your curiosity which got put to bed? Like, okay, I, I thought this, this is the case. I, I, I genuinely thought Freemasonry was a conspiracy thing. It wasn't, it, got ne- it never got mentioned by prime ministers, presidents, 
or the hierarchy or BBC, ITV, Fox or whatever. Mm. It was always secondary media. Mm. I was like flipping, now that I'm here, flipping, you've got a royal family that was a mason. you got this, that guy that was a mason. Like a lot of these guys are masons. And I'm like, flip, what, what does that actually mean? Can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. This is like contacted us from Wales. Yeah. She's an activist. She said there's a Muslim prevent coordinator. You know what the prevent strategy is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Muslim prevent coordinator. He's the national coordinator of, of Wales. Yeah. Who also happens to be a member of the Freemasons. Yeah. Now, from my understanding, when we looked into this story, the Freemasons, from my understanding, from a very superficial understanding, if someone was to just go online and find out, I always like a, a gentleman's... Did you, I thought you were a journalist, you know. Yeah, a gentleman's just network. Look at stuff briefly, you know. No, but I'm saying that, I said that face values, Ishan. Because you're saying I listen, looked at it at listen, first fix. Listen Why me. didn't you do some research, Listen to bro? me, hear me out. Dilly, come on. No, because the guys in Muslim Prevent Court, was part of the Freemasons, yeah. right? Now, the Freemasonic movement, from my understanding, was just a network of men who have certain rights and principles that they all have to abide by. That's quite naive. So you can have a Christian Freemason, you can have an Atheist Freemason, you can have a Muslim Freemason. Yeah. Right? So there is an existence and there is some knowledge of who the Freemasons are, but it's just widely understood that it's just a, a case of... Widely understood by who though? That's The, the thing. masses. When you say the masses... Mm. Okay, the masses, first and foremost, don't really know who the Freemasons are. Exactly. Those who do know what the Freemasons are, fall into two camps. Yeah. The camps of the madness like you. G-Unit. And the camps of those who are like, okay, it's just a bunch of men who dress funny every now and again and they some have some higher values and principles that they all try to abide by. Can he be a woman and part of the Freemasons? Not from my understanding. No. Not, no. Be a man. Not at the high level. Right. So he can be at some level? Yeah. Okay, so he can. At the beginning, uh, they've just recently started, but not, not a technical uh, Freemason. Have you ever thought about having a female imam? Have you ever thought like, about there is a masjid with a female imam. But we can't go around saying, yeah, there are female imams. Would you not recognize speaking? It's not yeah, really exactly. Would, 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 you, would you ever consider joining the Freemasons? No. Do you consider it to be haram? With the, with the Freemasons, the thing is, it's, it's very shadowy. Yeah. There's certain things that we do know. Yeah, for example, the Freemasonry goes up to such a degree that, that there's even a lodge in a member of parliament. This was uh, admitted by, what's his name, Deputy Leader of, of Labour, Roy Hattersley. So? So what if there is a lodge, a Freemason lodge in the but house? Now the question what do they is, do? What's their function? Considering it's a democracy, mm -hmm. yeah, and if there's a lodge in a Member of Parliament and they're representing us, we deserve to know what it is and we want to hear you guys discussing and telling us about what it is. How come you never mention it? Has your research found any, any explanation behind this lodge? Uh, yeah, what's the function? What like? I mean, it's there. People meet, but that's the thing. It's secretive. Like even the one that I visited, it's in Holborn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a museum. You can go there whenever you want. Yeah, you can go. You can um, take whoever you want, and they will take you for a tour or whatnot. Hello, Dilly. This is the room. This is the vase. This is the Illuminati eye. They show you all of this stuff, mate. Is that the accent that they, the person used? It depends, Dilly, mate. Okay. What? Who you're going with? It depends morning or afternoon with who the tour guide is. Exactly. Yeah. When are you planning to go? I don't think I really want to go, to be honest. Dilly, let's. When are you planning to go, Dilly? I don't know. Just, this stuff just doesn't interest me, bro. Remember when? When are you planning to go, bro? I'll be honest with you. I'm on a similar. He's even more Opinion. critical of his conspiracy, yeah? conspiracy yeah. theories. But you know, you know. I go for the crack. Convince yeah, us I, here. Why? We I go for a laugh. Convince us. I, I don't need to. You know why? If there's a tour guide who's no, got that accent, I will go more than once. No. But but you know why? Convince you know, us because bro, there's people online. I'm not going to, and I'll tell you why. Why not? I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because different people are at different le uh, at different stages. I was at the stage that I was at the stage that I genuinely thought it was in the fig in in the imagination of people. It was a figment of the imagination. It was false narrative. It was just said in certain circles. When I went there, I saw it for myself. I, I knew it does exist. So yeah. what for yourself? What did you see? I, some blood rituals? Did you see They, like, they the don't scriptures? show you these rituals because by definition, they're secret rituals. Even when they do conduct them in the evening. Here's the thing. This is what we hear a lot. Here. Everything is secret. It's a secret. On the it's one, a secret. It's a, and, and, and so also, if it's a secret, how do we have any information? And information that we do have, how do we know it's... True. And just to add to that, Zishan, uh, and the viewers are going to Most of this. the information, you're right, that's a good point he's made. It's, it's witness testimony, that's number one. And number two, secret footage does arise. Sure. But you're never going to How get do you that. verify that secret See, footage? I haven't got issue testimony. How do, you, how do you authenticate that, that footage? You're 100% you're right. But when there's enough evidence is coming, when there's enough footages arising that confirm the same thing, 
it's more likely to be true that so it's, it's regarded so it's as a conspiracy theory. Mm. It will never be considered a fact. Okay. And because they're by definition, they are shadowy and they're secret. But the thing is, there's certain things that we can establish. For example, they would use human sacrifices and put them in the foundation of the temples. Now, have you seen? Have you seen any footage of that? Now there's. Have you seen any footage of that? You don't need footage. You need archaeological evidence, mate. Yeah. Okay. And there is archaeological evidence. Where? It is in Scotland. Where? In Scotland, near the lodge. I don't know the exact. Where? Where the Loch Ness monster? Where? I don't know the exact look. It's in a book by David Southall called Secrets and Lies. Okay, and what, fine. They, they, what they find, they find the like, remnants of bones and things they, like that. They found like a couple of hundred years ago. Yeah, but the, Az- the Aztecs, you should do stuff like this. Yeah, but the Aztecs are not in our member of parliament using their name. No, no. Say, yeah, no, 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 but this the guy, Roy Hattleston. Okay, but, ha- okay but how long ago were those bones that were found in Scotland? They were a couple of hundred years ago. Now they, they tend to use more animal, uh, animal blood. But now the thing is... So they've become a bit more progressive and they're... No, but that, that's the thing though. You, it's a bit hot now to sacrifice humans, isn't it? It's 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 hot now, but, but the thing is, any time a thief is pursued by someone, yeah, or by the law, what does he or she do? Yeah, first thing they do is they ditch the phone, change the SIM, they ditch their car, change the car, change their identity. It's the same, yeah. All are right. You, they are you, you, you talking from experience? Pardon? Are you talking from experience? Possibly. No comment. Okay. Yeah, but I would definitely say to go off grid. No phone, no credit card. Yeah? That's sound. You can watch that for movies. There's nothing profound you said there. Carry on. No, it's, good to be, it's quite basic. Yeah, yeah quite it's, basic. it's quite basic. You thought you, you, you would sound sick with the snap back. Oh, yeah, no credit card, no phone. Obviously, bro. But that's the thing, though. When you say no phone, what do I mean by no phone? No smartphone. Too so much. you'd use the other phone then? Oh, you use the, tra- the trap phone, innit? Nah. No, nah, no, nah, trust me. I thought you got that from movies. Man. No, bro, you can get PGP phones these days. No, your phone can be off, it can still be tracked. No, yeah, but you can get PGP phones these days. Look, forget your PG tips here. Yeah? No, we're, talk, we're, talking about, we're talking about phones at the moment. Anyway, no, back, we're talking about tea bags. Anyway, back to the fact of human sacrifice and animal sacrifice. All right, so, I, so what if a group of crazy men get together and do this crazy stuff? That doesn't mean they rule the world. I didn't say they rule the world. There's an assumption that they do rule the world. What, what, you say, what you're saying is that there are a group of men who are in, 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 no, in, in, he, he in ruling asked, columns... Who are a part of a part the Freemasons? Yeah. Now the question is that, yeah, that's the he he's he summarized it really well. But now now the thing is, yeah, are you gonna ever chuck a praise here, brother? It's cause why you hey I think you will. <laughs> Don't know what to say to be honest, bro. He sounds jealous. That's what that's what I'm saying, bro. You just cause him. He's a good brother, the Marshall. You know, trust me, day to day average. Bro. Day to day, I would say day to day. Anyway, back to your madness. Do, yeah. do these men rule the world? Look, when it comes to Freemasons, the point that I was saying was any thief, yeah, they they ditch um, their car, they ditch their phone, they they change their identity. It's the same that applies to people once they've been found out. The the slug or the snail may have moved into a different shell. They may have abandoned the other shell, but now they moved. It's the same snail. But they moved into another shell. But what are these anecdotal an- get that, an- yeah? analogies? Madness. I know. I get what you you're get saying. You get that, yeah? But that's not evidence. Okay. No, that's no, no. nothing. I'll give you evidence. Because you're talking about Freemasons. You're saying the movement has moved from one type of outwardly practice. I'm, I'm saying. But the entire movement has moved into a different type. If, if your question was that who are ruling the world. Yeah. yeah. My answer would be the rich and the powerful are ruling the world. There's no yeah? dispute around that. There's no dispute There's about no dispute that. Around. That's, yeah? that's, been, that's, that's been the sunnah of human civilization for the most Good. part. That's just, that's just power. What is power defined Agreed. by? Agreed. Physical strength, wealth, lineage, done. 100%. Now we move on to number two. Do these people want to concentrate power amongst each other? And do they want to give favors to each other? Of course. They of course. do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we go into certain groups that are out in the open. Yeah, they say, um, what's that saying about the best place to hide is in plain sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you heard of the Trilateral Commission, yeah? Yes. Okay, Trilateral Commission, 335 leaders, once a year gather, you got politicians, businessmen, moguls and media. Yeah, it doesn't get reported. Okay, some people say that this is what it's been morphed into. Because they are leaders, it's not being documented, no one really knows what's going on. You might think, okay. They might be just having a big party. Maybe, but how do you know? Can you prove it? No, but the point exactly. is that even if 335 people, the most powerful people in the world, are having a ga- an annual gathering, it's yeah. most likely than not that they probably are talking about things to continue their hegemony. But that's what I'm saying. If they claim to be leaders of a democratic 
country. But what's this democratic bakwas? No, it, what makes you think that it's, it's democracy? bakwas to you, but yeah. it's not bakwas to the people that follow them. Okay, but, but so let's just say you. But then you're supposed to raise that standard. No, but let's but, just, but say, let's just say he's but, making a general but, point, which is yeah. look, democracy is something that people that accept, they live yeah. by, it, and they are proud. No, of. but for those, no, no. so it's it's the people what? that it's the people that trust that system. Are not having transparency. No, then that's I, what you're saying, isn't no, it? Then, yeah, exactly. No, but then we're, talking about we're going to be critical no, about no, it. No, no, yeah. But the no. people that are that, that pride themselves in the system, skeptical, in, in, yeah, in, we're skeptical. In, yeah, in a democratic system, they're not having that transparency. Then the discussion then should be that this system, which we or the masses understand to be democratic or a democracy, isn't actually that. And the fact is that it has historically never been that. So really, it shouldn't our argument to then be is to deconstruct. The notion of democracy. You're right, but as that, a ruling system. But, but that in itself, that discussion requires another podcast in itself, which mm. you're not going to be invited to. Which uh, carry on. Well, uh, I'll have to ask. No, uh, I, I make the final I'll have call. I'll to ask the. Uh, I make the final call. But he's clearly leading the podcast. No, you've it? made him lead the podcast. You don't want to engage with me. But did I, did I make you lead it? No, I know what exactly. No you. one can make me do anything. You, I, I clock with you. But yeah, I, I love the answer. Carry on. <laughs> so go on. <laughs> You know, you know, even okay, trilateral. Yeah, yeah. you you were able to uh, dust that about Bilderberg. Bilderberg. What's that? Sounds like a burger. Well, it pro- pro- possibly is a burger in South Poland. Yeah. I'm not gonna deny that. But Bilderberg is where heads of state come together, uh, top media moguls get together, and heads of state or whatnot. And there's a total media blackout. Total. The whole um, was it President Clinton. Mm affair with Monica Lewinsky and they can't control the press press but here all the leaders are getting together in one place and no one's reporting it gone Mr. Journalist it could be closed off to the press so not every gathering is open to the press okay and what does the press normally do we'll try, when something's yeah. we'll try to access it okay and when's the last time that happened regarding the trilateral never no Bilderberg I don't know what the Bilderberg is. I've never heard of it. I told you. Is, uh, well, no. you think it's a Polish, uh, South Polish okay, burger. Okay, but it? I've never heard of it being reported. That's what I'm saying. The, the journalists nowadays aren't doing their job properly because Bilderberg is more, <laughs> it's more well known than the trilateral. In fact, you've got, you know, okay, all, these, I, all like, these hippies with their long hair. Yeah. They're outside normally with their placards. But again, even on social media, it doesn't get that much. So what, you, you join those hippies? You know what? I actually would. You would? I actually would. I think you took that demographic. I, I, I actually would at a principle. I think you'd fit a Muslim quota of those hippies. Thank you, bro. Yeah. So you know, on the subject, I actually wouldn't mind. On the subject of Bilderberg, how do yeah. we know the information that we do have about it is true? If you're saying it's complete media blackout, there's no access for journalists, and it's completely blocked off. The inf- Everything the inf- that I've said the is detail, public. The details that we do have, how do you know it's factual? What details? Like what question? One thing that I've said that. How do we know? No, no, just the, the the information that you've given so far. You spoke about snails and shells, bro. I was talking about less media just... moguls, heads of state, they billionaire, go, billi- billionaires, all these people that come together. Media blackout, fact. Khair, okay. It does happen once a year, fact. But I didn't mention anything about what could be discussed there. But let's face it, when powerful people are behind closed doors, when they claim to be representing their people and claim to be transparent and hear the exact opposite is happening, What's going on? But are they and t- you cannot say that they are representing the poor and the middle class because they come from a really rich background. So why is it that we don't have our input? We don't get a say in what gets discussed there if it's ruling us. Okay, so that so, so okay, so the higher echelons of power, the higher echelons of power have very shadowy and murky uh, and very censored meetings. Once Disagreed, again. because it's not just the higher echelons, even the mafia. The mafia, when it moved from the Vatican, yeah, it was a secret society. But it, looked it was a secret society yeah, with secret society. symbols, secret yeah. handshakes, secret rituals. rituals in yeah. fact, now every year they get together as well in the, in a commission of thirty five. Well, that's everyone heads knows of, that. For heads those, of family. For those who follow the La Cosa Nostra history, we know this happens. G-Unit. West Side. No, but that G unit doesn't follow La Cosa Nostra. Shh. Don't mix the two. Don't mess with G. Don't mix the two. Don't mess. About Gambinos. Anyway, so back to it. The mafia links up. They need to link up. They're running a criminal organization. Of course, they're going to link up. But then what's the link with the CIA? Why do they join? No, but the the CIA joins the mafia. Well, why do they sometimes, uh, you know, interact with them? The CIA interacts with drug cartels. The CIA in, uh, interacts with people who are going to carry out military coups. They carry out, uh, They interact with mafia. It's, it's the Which way mainstream media has reported that. It's, it's kind of known. 
Which mainstream media has reported that? What that that that's based, what you just said. What the CIA? What uh, you just said. Listen to me. Is that the CIA bought cocaine from South America so it can fund the guerrilla warfare against the leftists in Central uh, Central America? It's well known. In Nicaragua, yeah. Yeah. Sandinistas. Yeah. Nineteen eighty-five. Yeah. Sick. Iran contra uh, contra scandal. Yes. Iran contra scandal. So it's known. It's not a secret. No, but that's the thing. That's one of my content. That's that's from my sheet. But I didn't get it from your sheet. But that's what I'm saying. I got it from. Uh, what what thing was it? Narcos. No, I'll go for Narcos. Yeah, that's embarrassing, bro. Yeah. I think we need to get rid of this. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't from Narcos. Was get it from Narcos? Nah, it wasn't from Narcos. Journalism. No, it's from yeah. uh, Snowflake. Smash. Snow it. from BBC. So the CIA engages with criminal entities and criminal organizations from drug cartels to the mafia and what they need to for their higher objective of advancing American interests in the region or in the world. No, but you're, you're, you're supposed to be playing devil, devil's advocate in the sense that you're supposed to be saying, no, but they probably get together to help us or to do this, to do that. You're now um, singing from my hymn sheet, which is, I believe this as well, that they get together and because... Yeah, but so what? Corrupts, so, this one, I'm saying so what? Bro, it's not so what it's it's when they get together yeah and they are making decisions that we don't know and every other month there's a, there's an impending war on china there's an impending war on russia there's an impending war which will never happen in reality well iran will happen iran will but iran is not russia and china let's be frank about that yeah let's let's yeah? Yeah, agreed, agreed. Like, 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 there's a war between america but then again and there is a war happening with uh, with china but it's a different war it's, it's, it's a war, of, war yeah economy yeah, of, and, I'm, and technology oh, oh, yes but that's what i'm saying all of these things are happening these things are being discussed but let's make it absolutely clear that so, sure, someone could argue yeah that you want to expose or bring to people's attention uh, the information that the media is not able to access. Some of the examples that you gave, yeah? They are able to access it, but they it's decide not, being, not okay, to. They decide not to um, for bring reasons. It to the yeah, for, for, for reasons that we've kind of touched upon, right? Yeah. yeah? What about if someone turns and says there's enough information that's out there, cut, you know, accessible for the public, that already gives us that information? That the rich, the elite, the people that are privileged, they rule the world, they make decisions without consulting us, blah, blah. Including criminal organisations. Like, we, like we know this. Tell it's us something new, it's, it's not as if people are having to guess that. I think it's widely accepted and known that the people that rule the world are not the, uh, the masses, the public, the layman, the I, average I person. I disagree with that. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no I disagree with no, that. But just you know why? Sorry, sorry, just after that, it, like, for example, the, 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 the Italian, ma the Sicilian mafia's role in electing certain mayors in New York for the best part of 20, 25 years Again, we know the link between uh, criminal, uh, criminal underworld organizations and organized crime, politicians, the rich, the wealthy, and the corrupt. Tell us something new, bro. You're talking about criminals and you're comparing them with politicians and leaders well, that politicians we are... look up to. We don't tell our kids, when you grow up, brother, well, I don't know why you're calling your son brother. Mm. Let me take two. So when you grow up, son, uh, you're going to be uh, like uh, this guy and that guy. But you never say you're going to be like, you know, Dom Perignon, you know, from... Uh... Dom Perignon's a bottle of drink. It's not actually a mafia. I was just testing you because I thought this guy was... No, 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 it's on the G-Unit songs. Dom Perignon. I was thinking... Don Perion. <laughs> Don Perion. Is someone some bubbly? Is there some bubbly up in here? Anyway, back to Don. Don Carleone. Yeah, Don yeah. Carleone. Don yeah. Carleone. Bro, no, no one's gonna tell their kids. But the thing is, when you tell your kids, you're gonna grow up, be like this politician. There's hope for you yet. Yeah, look, we got a Muslim mayor. We got this. We got that. You're paid. You're painting a false sense of security and you're 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 not giving a realistic image or something realistic for the child to look up to but no one says this about gangsters they're rejects anyway that's the thing so you can't compare the two here on the one side we've got politicians so when don perleon or carlos or whatever when he does something wrong all right cool but when george w bush who's now set to well, in the past, was set to be elected as the president of the most powerful country on the planet. And he was doing rituals in which he was eating from the uh, cutlery of Hitler and part of skull and bones. And that's clear. It's a it's a Yale, um, you know, group or whatever you want to call it. That's standard. Like, why is this OK? Tony Blair is going to Bilderberg, but then he's looking at us in the face and saying, you know what, we're transparent, we're this, we're that. Why are you going to secret meetings then? Why are you telling us that, okay, we're going to release this, we're going to release that? It's just disparity, it's hypocritical, and you know what? If you are claiming to be a democracy, 
If you're claiming to be transparent, you need to be fully transparent. You can't be half and half. You can't be doing secret meetings and coming and saying, okay, you can now elect this leader when it's already been decided. Yeah, because there are. They go to Bohemian Grove that was exposed and that came out. It was the, the playground for the rich where they would hang out and do some really funky stuff. Like what they do? You seem like, you just seem, you just seem to be hating on guys that have some funky habits. You know what? I want to know what the, this Bohemian Rhapsody, what do they do? Bohemian, I mean, there's not, it's not clearly known. It's really secretive, yeah? Well, it's it's, it's secretive, some... but Alex Jones was the one that did release footage um, exposing how did, it. How did he get that footage? He, 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 actually, gets, he gets a lot of how did, how did How did he authenticate that footage? That, that's what I'm saying. I, I haven't looked at no, no, that. Basically, you get stuck there, innit? No, 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 that's no, what we're saying. No, no, you get stuck there, innit? You were on fire for about three there. minutes. For about three minutes, you had your show. You, you were. When it comes to authenticating the evidence, guy gets stuck. <laughs> when it comes to authenticating the evidence, I, 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 I told you right at the start. I said a conspiracy theory relies on the people you're trying to refute. Sure. Yeah? And because of that, it will be called a conspiracy theory and by definition it can't be a conspiracy fact i've not even called it i just said that you have you seem to you seem to get good spiels you should have good two three minute runs when it comes to me saying or aki asking you how do you authenticate the footage how do you authenticate okay. evidence how do you how do you authenticate science you can't science by definition according to Oxford. why are you taking you science test. no you I, i'll test. give you an example of stuff that we agree with okay. yeah we agree in, with science and the thing is, you cannot authenticate it 100%. No, you can't. You can retest it. You can it's retest different. it. No, no, you, no, you, not you, necessarily. Big Bang, you can't retest. No, I'm not talking. Okay. Evolution, you can't retest. No. Science is such a huge spectrum of yeah. things that could be tested or not tested. So you can't say you can't retest science because there's massive aspects of science that you can. Aspects of it. Yeah, yeah. But there's it's huge. the same with this. Okay, no, no. Oh. You can check aspects of it. No, aspects of what? No, some footage that Alex no, Jones no, no, released. No, we're talking about specific activities and we're talking about specific groups that were uh, ha- uh, allegations that they do footage, X, Y, and Z. If a footage has been uh, You can't compare released. that to the boiling point of this or... You can. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. You just released this footage, yeah? How do you check that footage? Okay. You check it for being edited. Yes. You check it. Does it follow the map like that person is claiming to follow this route let's go is this route there did they come across these telltale signs no but also in the case of what you you cited with regards to george w bush uh re- engaged in these kind of mad rituals you'd have to then solidly identify that is that actually george w bush was it they've admitted to being skull and bones it's clear okay uh, uh, not so much the skull and bones thing, not, not so much the bush thing right but like yeah the example that you gave of this what is it Bohemian what Bohemian, Bohemian Grove. Grove yeah Bohemian Grove right sounds, yeah. Mad, isn't it? yeah it sounds it sounds next level but these the, 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 activ- the activities that they get up to right Jones stuff no but okay do, 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 I'll, I'll give you do, do, what, what kind of thing do they do I'll, 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 I'll give you an example like I'll give you an example wacky. I'll give you an example uh, there's there's certain documentaries that have come out about celebrities yeah high echelons of celebrities when they get together like Jay Z and Beyonce I guess so when they get together the sort of parties that they have. Now, the people that have exposed that are the people that have actually organized those parties. Mm. And they say, look, these people get along with some mad... They, we have to organize some mad stuff. Certain things I can't see on the podcast, but it's really... Um, no, 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 let's hear it. it it's, it's like naked midgets running around. It's like cocaine off the backs of God knows what. It's, they, they've, just got, they've just got bookie activities, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Bookie activities, but when you now transfer that to people with power, yeah, mm. like in investment banking, what they do is certain... Uh, like one brother was telling me that uh, in fact this is uh, generally accepted amongst these sorts of crowds when you go to their when you when you work for them what now happens is they'll say okay the next meeting is at the strip club okay, so you go at the strip club you're married and they they'll bring someone maybe a, a filipino kid you know yeah so they bring the filipino kid <laughs> the thing, <laughs> there is a bit of a similarity you know you're saying that you look like a filipino kid are you belittling child abuse? No, I'm you are belittling you. No, no, you're belittling child abuse. I say I'm belittling Filipino kids by saying you look like them. Carry on. I think they look. Carry on. So. Uh, How do you think they look? Huh? How do you think they look? I think they, they look as Filipino kids should look. Mm. Better than. Oh, carry on. Mr. Dilly here. So. Uh, what what they do is when something's happening, something dodgy is happening, they'll take a, uh, they'll take a little video. When something goes wrong, they'll h- hold that over your head. Mm. they'll hold it over your head there's certain academics like john perkins yeah even they've written books with what they said and um you know in journalism they say even when it comes to brazil where his deputy was saying look they've got certain things yeah. over uh, this leader that 
you know, we, we can't. And in fact, they do this with certain countries, do this with veto power. Look, we did this for you, we've given you aid, therefore now we need you to vote for this, this and this. Uh, we're, not dis- we're not disputing I'm not that there is a lot of uh, secretive activities I'm drawing, and I'm drawing parallels here. I'm drawing parallels with this. I don't, All I'm saying no, is... Your no, no, no. Your you, par- you've got politics here no. and you've got investment banking. All I'm saying is it would be ludicrous for you to say that this does not occur with these people behind closed doors and certain things don't get coerced and certain mad things can happen that affects our lives. You know, no. I, I, essentially, I don't think we disagree with yeah. Sean. No, but there's, but there's a point I need to make. The point he's trying to make... Correct me if I'm wrong, my he just, yeah? he just seems a bit unhappy that he's not invited to these parties. That's what it actually <laughs> sounds like. You sound like you're proper vexed that you're not getting invited into these parties, because the things that you, yeah, because the things that you've essentially said, mad. Yeah, because the things they are mad, aren't they? <laughs> they're mad. Mad midgets across the room. But listen, the point here is, you're essentially saying don't trust those in power. Fine, we agree. Yep. Those who have, those who are the ultra rich, the ultra power from all different sectors and industries get together and they preserve their hegemony, their power, and and it's concentrated within small groups. They do each other favors. We agree with that. Sure. Yeah, you even mentioned this thing about. Uh, nations vetoing that's the five permanent members of the security council we know that the point I'm trying to make is we're in agreement but the parallel I'm going through is stuff that we already know stuff that we can already observe with our eyes and from our intellect whereas you're too busy banging on about rituals and parties but we agree with you that yes we cannot trust those who essentially appear to be running the world the ultra uber crazy dons of capitalism what's rituals who are rituals normally linked to uh, Generally speaking, darker spirits, darker, darker entities, shaitan, and all those kind of things. It can. Be. What are they normally linked to? Rituals. I don't understand what you, what you mean. What they're normally linked to? I, I, like religion, 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 religion and secret societies. Religion. Religion. Yeah, religion, yeah. religion is more well known than the occult. Yeah. yeah. Now the thing is, religion is out in the open. People can see your rituals. You can pray wherever. Yeah. Why do you need to do rituals in secret? Why they need to be done with hoods? Why are there skulls involved? Because they're rich and they can do it and they may no, but that's do the it. thing. But when you look at people, now we're getting into some interest and stuff because now you want to get into the occult. Because oh. now the problem is, when you look into the occult, there's certain names that come to the forefront. Can you tell us what the occult is for our listeners who don't the know? The occult that? is the use of dark magic, yeah, okay. irrespective of what religion or whatever. Yeah. Now the occult, it's, it's got certain origins. So there's some origins that come from Judaism, there's some origins that can even come from Islam mm-hmm. or whatever. Does it not date back to the Kabbalah or Babylon? Um, Pre-Kabbalah. Kabbalah's got certain elements of... Babylon? Babel? Uh, possibly, we don't really know. I yeah. thought you would know. There's some that actually link it to um, the Egyptians. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but God knows, I mean... Considering That's ancient, where, yeah. Yeah, Okay, fine. So, 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 so we even know that... So now the thing is, with occult, you've got people like Jack Parsons. Now, Jack Parsons is regarded as a father of rocket fuel. He would literally do rituals um, before uh, his, his scientific um, endeavours. Now, this was out in the open. Like, why are you doing rituals? Yeah? Why are certain satellites at certain degrees? Yeah? Why, why are certain numbers constantly being pushed forward? Yeah? When you do have a field called numerology, yeah, you do have these things and these things do exist and when you're constantly seeing a pattern happens once, happens twice, you're like, all right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. you're like, all right, this is this is not right. Hitler was an occultist. Okay, you had the guy who had the apple on his head. Yeah, Isaac Newton. Mm. Yeah. It's standard the stuff. Then hit his head. He just saw the apple fall. He did, yeah. Yeah. But he was an alchemist. And Cambridge restricted and they withheld his books being published on alchemy because they didn't want to discredit him. Uh, Francis Crick, mm. one of the two that discovered the, the helix, he was an LSD. You know what I mean? Like a lot of this stuff is being censored. It's not um, stuff that's taken away. It's just, well, it's not they stuff. They just sound a little bit wild. They want, like, one guy like likes drugs. To get, he likes to get a bit high. Satanism. He likes to get a bit high. Like he, rituals. He, believe, he believes in numerology. Doesn't necessarily mean that we that it means anything. It means something to them. No, he does. No, no. But it means something to them. But it worked well. He, according to him, it worked for him. And even when our government starts taking interest in that, that's when it gets a bit messy. Because now you're involving us. Alistair Crowley, yeah, who was called by I think one of the British newspapers the worst man alive mm. yeah some of the rituals that he was doing was absolutely disgusting like yeah all this goes back to rituals with you isn't it that's because that's what a lot of these people go back to it goes back to the old age phenomena of rituals so that's what religions so go back to that's what these uh, politicians go back to that's so, you're what saying, these so, 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 so you're so you're now saying it's the 
power of I want to know rituals he did. Like you say some disgusting. I liked it. I want to hear. Can, can we hear what some of these rituals are? I mean, it's it's a rituals like um, taking the period blood of uh, of uh, a sibling. Sounds like sounds like sihr. But that's, that's what I'm saying. Mean. Certain people won't know. Or smearing uh, feces like over sihr. your body or sounds whatever. Sounds like black magic. No, but that's what I'm saying. But, but when the Guardian releases an article saying that yeah, the MI5 utilized uh, Alistair Crowley mm. in uh, their covert activities, I'm sorry, but. You guys might be okay. You might be saying, oh, that's normal. Someone that smears blood on himself and feces and our government who claims to be looking out for us is taking this guy's advice. I'm sorry, but that's where I draw his, the line. His advice, can, can long I, term, his advice, the he'd line. advise him one, uh, what aspect of the work of the MI5. Pardon? When did the MI5 use Alistair Crowley for what aspect? M- MI5 or MI6 used him. I think this was against the communists. Okay. They... They bled a, uh, quite a few. Why lines wouldn't they? Use, why wouldn't they use someone like Alistair Crowley against their biggest ideological enemy? The communists? because why the occult they? is not taught to. It's not mentioned in mainstream. It's not taught to the kids. We don't discuss it in our homes. It's stuff that, in fact, the Vatican. Yeah, the Vatican. It, there was an inquisition and it's called the Papal's Inquisitions Index of Forbidden Books. Yeah. They've got entire section of occult books. Yeah, Satanist books that are just secretive locked away. You can argue, oh, but what's wrong with this? What's wrong with that? But no, I would argue that maybe the, the Vatican and the, and, the, and, the, and the Roman Catholic establishment needs to have those books on Satanism for their types of exorcism and for their research. Sure. No, they don't use them. Huh? They don't use them. How, How do they use them? them? Because they've claimed not to use them. Why would, why would the leaders in Christianity use books on occult? Okay, listen to what you just said. No, the Vatican uses books on occult against exorcism for research. For research, no, because dark arts is a type of sihr, which can okay, okay, for for research. Okay, that's that's okay, research. Okay, for okay, why is it restricted to mainstream? Okay, for even an opposing argument could be that okay, we use it for research or we want to safeguard humanity from this literature. These things can be argued. Have they though? I don't know. Have they? No, go on then. I'm telling you no, because it's happening. Why is MI5 asking Alistair Crowley? Why they not just? Why don't they just go to the Vatican? I don't know, bro. Exactly. It was a long time ago, though. So what if it was a long time ago? It's still everything that happened post World War Two was an absolute mess. In fact, you guys are talking like a cult and stuff like this. There's stuff that are even more mainstream, like post World War Two. Yeah, when the whole world you had the Nuremberg Nuremberg trials. Yeah, all this nonsense going on. Yeah. But on the one hand, you had Project MK Ultra, where they're bringing home Nazi scientists and getting them to work on mind control, electrocuting LSD members of the public, unsuspecting. You've got operations like Operation Midnight Climax. These are all, you can literally Google them, you can buy books on them. It's on CIA declassified documents, yeah? But the thing is, when you're now coming to me and telling me, no, this sort of stuff doesn't exist, it's all about the physical and the material, no, that's what we're learning about in school. But why are your secret, um, you know, uh, organizations at CIA, why are they looking into this stuff? Why is it that you're utilizing members of the public whenever you want? That was... Uh, Project MK Ultra. They've admitted this. Declassified documents. Operation Paperclip, where they bought these rocket scientists from Nazi Germany. Rocket scientists like Werner von Braun. Yeah, he worked with them. There's a big picture of all of them standing smiling. Why? What? Why would it? But the U.S. Bro, mm. it's Ill- it was at that time it was illegal to utilize the Nazis. But Operation Paperclip utilized their knowledge, and in fact, that was the precursor of. What do they do? Why is it called Operation Paperclip? What do they do with the paperclip? I don't know. They call, call it whatever. Is they it a secret? Is it shan, is it shan? Well, no. It's, it's, well, it was a secret at that time mm. because of an operation. But the thing is, the US has this rule that after like every 20, 30 years, they supposedly declassify certain documents. They have an act. It's called the Freedom of Information Act. You can mm. even mm. request certain documents for, to be declassified, and they can. Yeah. Mm. So now the thing is, yeah. What I'm, what you might be thinking, where are you going with this? No, no, I know. But, uh, what, what I'm trying to say is, there are certain things that are not non-conspiratorial. They show that the people in power don't necessarily have our best interests in 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 favor, and Ma- that's what many will be watching this 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 podcast. Yeah, and they'll be thinking, tell us something new. 
No, they're not, bro. They are because no, they no, don't no, know no, this no, stuff, no, bro. No, 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 I'm guaranteeing no, no, okay. you, 75% okay, okay, of the people, fine. bro. No, they me, don't no, know no, patient no, paper. No, no, they don't know Project no, MKO. Not about the details of these certain secret agendas and projects. I'm talking nah. about the fact that the rich and powerful they see, seek to I know, advance, I know, Dilly, seek I know, to advance their own power and control to control but, the masses. But when you, Tell but, us something, Dilly, bro. When you speak to people, bro, yeah, you cannot say this in everyday conversation without dropping certain big names, bro. Okay, because people are gonna think you're a cook. If I say this to John and Jim, yeah, yeah, they're gonna be like, bro, come on, what are, you, what are you saying? Like, are you speaking against the government? Like, are you serious? You're saying that our government would put his own citizens in danger? Bro, I'd have to bust out Project MK Ultra, Operation Paperclip, bro, even Operation Mockingbird, yeah, in the 1970s, 1980s, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. where they actually manipulated uh, and they would manipulate news stories just to forward and just to look. Or make their war in Vietnam more favorable. Yeah. They but, did this, bro. Okay, that's but when I say this now, yeah, people are gonna be like, "Nah, come on, bro. Like we have like people like you. Oh, we're journalists. We're very independent. We're doing our job." No, you can't say that. No, 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 no. But when I bust out no, no. Operation Why? Mockingbird, Why? Just and I'm like, no, 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 it's not that. Gee, you man, <laughs> what's not that? On. No, no. <laughs> the point here is, this, Sean. What I find I is that certain of the conclusions that you've drawn right. from your research. Is, is generic information or generic trends that, that humans generally know, right? So for example, no, we don't. No, we disagree. You cannot, substantiate, you cannot substantiate that from a statistical point of view. And I'll tell you what that is. If you go and speak to that average Joe, even the average white person in the United Kingdom, yeah. right? Go somewhere up north or let's even take Nick Griffin, the, the leader of the European. They'll be skeptical, but they won't have proof to back up their statement. Because I don't I believe that. Of course yeah, they won't. But because and that's why you need these details. For if you were to speak to somebody credible, you can say this stuff categorically okay. Okay. with proof. Okay, fine. The thing is here, we seem to be on the same page in the sense that you seem to be saying that we need to question and hold to account at the very least, not entirely trust those in power. Yes? Hundred and million, billion, trillion, septillion percent. Okay, fine. So we're on the same page. But moving on from that, I don't understand that why we just can't base that on wealth disparity, illegal wars, um, distortion of policies, uh, secrecy. Whereas you just... You, you secret- sound like a conspiracy. No, 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 no. But these are things that... No, these things are factual, bro. This is the fact that the Iraq war was based on a false confession of, and false evidence. The fact that the media constantly uh, will distort news and how it distorts facts. These, these are things which okay, can be give proven. me for the second one. Aggressive narrative against Muslims in the UK, West at large. The fact okay, that... But give me like an operation where this is... This is there, there is give a, me no, a name that some there, people there, can there, Google there, and check. No, there's no such operation. It's just because a, somebody from another religion might be watching be like, that's Muslims. I don't really care hit, about no, no. Hit him the numbers from uh, the studies of headlines. Okay, so Professor Paul... That's Muslims. No, Professor... So what I'm saying is, look... No, 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 no. It's Muslims now. It was Irish and it was the communists for the best part of 40, 50 years. The point is, yeah. it's a well-established... Uh, policy of those who disseminate propaganda Bro, here's, to, here's to here's destroy information. Here's where we're different. You're you're giving me stuff here that's that's fairly recent, but and and that can be argued from I'm both t- sides. I'm telling you, I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm telling you, you, I'm, you I'm, no, 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 give me thirty seconds. Right. I'm telling you the poets at the time of Prophet Sallam, who were seen as the, the as the propagandists and, the, and and of their time, they distorted poetry to defame Islam and Muslims. If you go back to the time of Musa alayhi salam, the magicians who were at the court of Fir'aun did certain things. So I'm saying that these things existed. Bro, that's fair enough. I'll accept that. Okay, but the average Joe, bro. If you present this evidence, it's not going to work for them. I'm going to be real. So you think the average Joe can accept all those long projects and those long words? The average Joe... MK I'll you, Ultra and this I'll and that. I'll tell you why they accept op- yeah. I'll tell you why. Because they come from CIA's declassified files. In other words, from the donkey's own mouth. When the person themselves has admitted to something, bro... There's nothing else left. So just to go back to that, so what if the CIA and the world superpowers do these things? Is it not kind of expected that they do with these no, things? No, it's not. It's bro. our job to hold them to account. It's yeah. our job. It's our job to report on I'm these things. You, it's I'm our job you, to. I'm telling you, the people that I speak to, bro. When when I do speak to them and I don't present and I give them your arguments, oh, isn't that so? It's very abstract. It's very wishy-washy. No, it's, it's it's unconfirmed. It's skeptical. No, it's, it's a, a way of thinking. It's, it's a, like it's, a, it's established trends. It's established it's trends, not, bro. Because you're, it's established you're, trends, bro, bro. Look, mashallah, you're well educated. You're you're in a good profession. You're exposed to the stuff. I'm exposed to the opposite side to you, which is I'm exposed to a generation that we go home. There's Netflix is filled with programs, bro. Yeah, people are constantly 
willingly being indoctrinated by a make-believe kind of figment of imagination that's been put there and they're literally lulled then you play games then you go to work you're unhappy with work that's it they don't have time to look at this stuff when they say this number one they're ashamed of saying this because they don't have proof when they do it's going against the grain bro you're used to it you're from five pillars there are other people who are not used to this sort of stuff they don't know this stuff so when they do there's like five six people they look at them bro are you this are you that all right what's the proof and if they're like oh come on we know this we know we know that but from the indoctrination they receive from mainstream media mm. from their tv shows from their games like call of duty like bro you're, you're expecting too much from the new generation they don't have access to this sort of stuff their textbooks are being heavily censored in fact youtube now is going through heavy censorship in fact because of the far right They've censored loads of their videos. They're censoring videos on vaccines, the anti-vaccines. They're censoring videos on con uh, conspiracies to do with 9-11. And this is slowly increasing. Yeah, everything that we've held to be true is now being challenged because we're in a false sense of security or we can't, in a cogent academic way, present what we're saying without sounding very abstract. So, so, what's, the, so what's the solution? My solution is number one, bro understand and be able to communicate your points in a cogent academic and present strong facts that no tom dick and harry will be able to refute like what you're saying mashallah it's good for like a muslim you give the story of musa alayhi salam you give this story that story well it is a muslim but podcast it is if, a muslim if, podcast if I, if, I, if I was if i was to engage with a non-muslim rest assured that the argument would be articulated and substantial that's what i'm saying way. i have hope bro with whatever content i try to I try to cater for both Muslim and non-Muslim because mm. there are non-Muslims that watch it. So, Operation, for example, Operation Northwood, bro. Mm. <clears throat> Operation, that, that's something that's very relevant to us. If we say, look, the government has been known, has been known to stage attacks uh, or even present ideas where attacks can be staged to blame somebody else. Bro, if I was to say that in a gathering of uncles, I'd be ripped to shreds. I don't think you would. No. I would be. I th I think you find that our people no, are very no, no. are very open. No, no, that's, no. no. That's, 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 that, seems be, that seems to be quite a common. A common thing, thing that people believe. There's two types of uncles. You got one no, uncle that's. No, very, Asian Muslims love the idea of things have been staged. Some, some, some. They yeah, love yeah, it, bro. Many. Some uncles, bro. There's some uncles that you sit with. You speak against the government. They're like, how dare you speak against the government? You need to be grateful. You need to be your giving yeah, this yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, Agreed? yeah. Okay, they Agreed? exist. Yeah, they exist. No, yeah, they that's one problem. Yeah, they okay, exist. Okay, but they there's, there's another. Not to them. Not there's, to there's, them. There's another constituency who love what you just said. We're not interested in them, bro. We're interested in the people. That, but I'm saying that's a big constituency as well. I, I don't. I they don't exist. deny that. Who believe? Who believe? Everything is staged. Literally everything is staged. I know. Everything I know. is that we our friends saying. are like that. That's why, bro. For everything, I like to have like an analogy or or something similar that's happened in the past that's undeniable. For example, Operation Northwood, which was they wanted to disparage or get rid of Fidel Castro of Cuba. So they suggested to the current head of state. They said, "Yo." You know what? Why don't we why don't we stage something and just blame it on Fidel Castro? That was put forward by the army. Although it was rejected, the fact that it was put through by the people that are supposedly looking over us is mad. Because if something has been suggested in the past, what's to say 30 years down the line when things have become worse, it cannot happen again. I've given the example of o Operation Mockingbird. Yeah, where media has been. In fact, David Southwell says that there's a CIA operative that's you know in a lot of media organizations. I don't doubt yeah? that for a moment. In the, in the same way, that you don't the, deny that. Yeah. No, no, of course not. The okay. Now, even um, for example, the history that we know, we, we you're saying, okay, what's the proof for this? What's the proof? When you look at books, who's to say that a lot of our evidence has not been burnt? For example, if you look at Operation Legacy after the British left India, there was literally a column of smoke of them. Burning documents that bro, we don't have to. Oh, when I was on the declassified, we spoke about this. We spoke about the fact that Britain, just as recent as a couple of years ago, burnt thousands of dossier and documents which proves colonial crimes. We spoke about this, do you remember? In, in fact, you know what? They haven't, they haven't necessarily burnt them. In Guardian 2013, they released an article saying that uh, it's come to light that there's at least the Home Office, the UK Foreign Office, holds one million files. And this is currently in Buckinghamshire. Mm. Historians are saying you need to release these files. So of, that, of colonial crimes of well it could be of anything but okay, of we're course, talking about two separate things no of, of colonial crimes as well because mm. that's um 
that that was what the Kukui tribe, uh, yeah. the Kukui tribe, um, asked for certain documents that obviously they were given reparations, but they are documents that historians are saying that we need to know what's in these documents. We might have to rewrite history. In fact, that's what Noam Chomsky says and um, Howard Zen. That is the, the the history that we have today. Are it's it? I mean, the people, the victors, write the history. Of course, mm-hmm. that's, yeah. that's that's a no. Given. But that's the thing, though. You're saying, of course, but me, like like someone like me, that's born in. Oh, the are system. you dealing with aliens? Or are you d- I'm what, dealing what? with real real people, bro. No, no, when sorry. you grow up, bro, I'm I'm used to reading history books. I'm read, I'm used to going W. H. Smith, no. getting my history books from there. No, so what, can, not Waterstones. N- no, this too posh for me. Okay. Uh, we're the, the, the South London, isn't it? Okay. W. H. Smith, okay. and uh, you probably get stabbed by before you've even reached it. So you have to hold. So, fam, you got a book? Are you mad? And you get shanked? That's what I'm saying. Nah, you live in a nice part of South London. <laughs> alhamdulillah, don't try. It's it. all right. Actually, I'm, I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. But alhamdulillah, it's it's not as bad as I'm making out to be. It's yeah. it's worse. Yeah. So, <laughs> so in that sense, bro, th- that's that's what people are growing up with today. Yeah, we have a skewed view of history. We have a skewed view of politics. We have a skewed view of what's right and wrong and who's actually in favor of us. Like people genuinely believe that we have a solution for Brexit. Boris is good for us and Jeremy Corbyn is bad for us. If, if whatever you said was true, then why would people be saying all of this? It's because indoctrination works. It's because shady business is happening. It's because you should question the narrative. You don't necessarily have to believe it and you're right. You should question the validity and you shouldn't take things blind, question footage and this and that, but never be skeptical to the sense of denying it completely. If somebody says, I don't believe in a conspiracy theory at all, bro, you're messed up because you believe everything that the government is telling you is correct based upon historical inaccuracies, based upon historical blunders. In fact, bro, uh, you talked about the Iran Contra scandal, even Operation Timber Sycamore. Yeah, where they were fund, where they were funding, arming, training Syria rebels to fight uh, to fight Bashar al-Assad. Yeah. Now I've heard this debate, yeah, or people saying this, but when you give names of stuff that have been established, it's known. People can go; it's tangible. They can research. Damn, this does exist. Yeah, it's on such and such. I can get a book on it. It's on Wikipedia. It's on this or that. You're giving someone something a bit more tangible. I, 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 it's, it's look, bro. I, I rate you for, for exactly, bro. I rate you for doing a, a Wikipedia check and, and a wiki check and getting all these names on your on your piece of paper. <laughs> it's not a Wikipedia check. Yeah. It's a CIA declassified document. Okay, so check. Get it right. I've had a quick glance at your notes. A lot of that stuff is wiki stuff, yeah? Bro, check it. Is yeah. it does it say Wikipedia? You won't have a clue. You don't know his, Bro, don't he don't know don't, the, oh, the holes between yeah. the holes, mate. Anyway, listen. Does it say Wikipedia anywhere? You don't have to, you could have nah. copy and paste it and, and, and change the font and text on Word doc. Anyway, look, the point is... That's, where's your proof of that? Yeah, I don't have to, I mean, it's an assumption. I, I told you, it's all CIA yeah. declassified documents. TK, look, the point... No, I'm talking All about, established... No, the operations that you've mentioned can be yeah. easily checked online. Yeah. Yeah. CIA declassified. Okay, that's fine. Declassified by the CIA. Okay. CIA declassified. The point I'm trying to make, bro, yeah, is this. You know my podcast called Declassified as well? I know. I'm, I'm going to cut any plugs of you. I think you don't deserve any plugs. For, 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 and on this podcast but anyway carry on um, no, not carry on sure. okay no, see no, no, uh, the stop. classified podcast <laughs> watch it now on YouTube don't you feel that he's just giving information about things that generally people already know bro oh, do you, do you, oh, oh wow the British oh the British government think you the rebels bro, the, the Syrian rebels bro do you do you believe in the day and age of like there's there's a new Lord of the Rings coming out yeah and they've got a budget of a billion hmm. Pogba a couple of years ago he got done. He he got sold for like eighty million. Yeah. Yeah. Where you have this whole Colosseum Circus sort of thing, which is distracting people. Yeah. Do you believe speaking to the people on a daily basis that people are well equipped with this sort of knowledge? That's what no, you're saying. No. 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 I don't That's believe. Precisely I don't, my point. I don't no. believe they are. But my argument would be, what does this information arm the people with? It arms up the well, how does that help them now move forward one. to now exist in the UK or wherever they are in the world and make them better prepared for the uh, deception and for the ill intentions? Habibi, that's, that's subjective. That the leaders I'll have tell you why. I'll tell you why. The first thing is before you can... Even, and that's what I said before, like it just makes them dislike them more. Even, bro, even, even for you to decide to do something, 
you need to know what the problem is. Like they say, the devil's greatest deception is to convince people that he doesn't exist. That's biblical. Yeah, it is. But I think it's quite interesting. That's and fine. It's, it's I, I wouldn't say it wasn't fine. I'm, I'm just saying yeah. it's biblical. But the interesting bit here is you're not going to fight a system or you're not going to challenge a system, speak out against a system, write against a system or whatever if you don't know what the problems are, if you don't feel confident about the arguments you're making. Once you are confident, that's step number one. I'm just providing step number one, bro. Like you said, I'm in a guy, uh, I'm a very beautiful man with a snapback. I didn't say uh, that. You didn't? I didn't. Oh, that's how I, my brain interpreted it. Okay, of course you would. So in that sense, bro, it's first about being aware. Second thing is now it depends on you. You might be, you might be an extrovert. You might be able to speak well with people. You might be going to media. Yeah. Or you might be a good writer. Or you might be a, a, a good, I don't know, something else. What are your skills basically? Yeah? Exactly. And you will do it according to your skills. Not everyone's going to be a Malcolm X. Not everyone's going to be a, you know, a, a writer like a, an Iqbal or whatever. Everyone's got their own strengths. Everyone's got their own mission in life. What are your the strengths? Thing is, well, my strengths. Yeah. Because I can't seem to sense any. Uh, well, I know that's a dig. Besides, but, besides just but you know what weak. when you're when you're as awesome as me bro just the list just is just overpowering well, of course so, as this those, I mean? those wiki research that you did yeah the, bro you said yourself it was a conjecture or you have no proof to back up what you're saying it's pr- pretty journalistic okay. isn't it carry on <laughs> it's five, pretty five pillars carry you know? on. so uh yeah in that in that sense bro <laughs> In the, you, you're, you're late, <laughs> danger. <laughs> First thing is alternative media. Yeah, don't look at the mainstream media. Understand that there's a lot of fishy stuff going on, and don't forget, make fires, even if it means buy a, a four pound book from Sainsbury's. Mm. Don't go W. H. Smith, they rip off. Okay. Yeah. So get that. Get a book. Make notes. If you hear something in the news, write down the reference. Talk with reference. Don't just talk willy nilly. That rhymes with Dilly, isn't it? Willy, Willy Nilly and Dilly. <laughs> That's three in one go. Smashed a hat trick. Sick. Sick. You smashed to put three words that rhyme. Okay. Gee, you nit. Okay, but listen. <laughs> a lot of things happen, bro. Like now. Before 9-11 happened, that same year, Donald Rumsfeld came in front of the public and said, we cannot account for $2.3 trillion. That's mad. Why is that forgotten? Why is that forgotten? I mentioned about Buckinghamshire. One million fires being hoarded that can change history. Fort Halstead. A secret science laboratory where experiments happen. But you're not, we're not allowed to go there. Just out of curiosity, and I'm being very serious. So, yeah. so these things that you're citing, can people who are watching this just check it online? You can check it, you can Google it. You can't visit it because they're heavily secured. So it's not declassified CIA documents then? This is declassified MI6 documents. Okay, but, Ooh, no, but wherever it is, wherever it's no. not, you just said it can be accessed online, so it's not declassified if it can be accessed No, it can online. be accessed from their own website. They've admitted that we have this facility, but it, the thing is, the Brit- British are very clever mm. in the sense that they just don't talk about things. Mm. For example, when the whole Gaza-Palestine, with the whole um, you know Gaza things going on, they just don't mention that stuff. There's a there's an envoy going co- sorry convoy going with George Galloway. They just didn't cover it. If it doesn't get covered, it, it's not in the consciousness. You don't know about it. People. You don't know about it. They stop stop talking about Syria. That's it. They stop talking about going blue for Sudan. That's it. Halas. It's that's why I'm saying, if you rely on mainstream media, that's it. I don't you're, think I don't think we're in dis- I don't think we're in disagreement at all. I I just find that the journeys and the paths. Oh, sorry, you, you, uh, I said Fort uh, Halstead. Mm. That's a secret scientific lab. You've even got Rudlow Manor, mm. which there's um, the secret interrogations happen there. The, even, you know, the UFO sightings that are supposedly put forward, that's, that's investigated there. I haven't looked too much into this, but what I'm saying is... So that, do, do aliens exist? Well, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Would you, would you like them to exist? No, because I, I don't think they'd like us. Okay. I think this and this is what I can, I can understand that in the context of you. I can understand why an alien wouldn't like you. Bro, you're gonna say something. I'm just going to say that I don't think aliens exist. Thank you, bro. 
Did you hear what he said? I don't think if an alien existed, they'd like you. I, I, I think if aliens existed, and this is insane, but I think if aliens existed, then there would be some reference to it in the text of Islam. That, no, that, that there are, is, there is, there is. In, when I say there is, I mean in the sense that uh, there other creatures exist besides mankind. No, the the it hasn't been ruled out. It hasn't been ruled out because it hasn't been mentioned. There is no, there is no mentioning of. There's that. no mention of dinosaurs then as well, then isn't sure, it? Sure, you know but, I mean? but but dinosaurs specifically, there's relics to suggest that there was. But there's no there mention creatures. of certain creatures that are, I mean, they say the there's only three percent like of the ocean has been discovered, but there's those creatures on. That's that's mentioned. not an alien. That's on Earth and it's life. That's marine life on Earth. There's marine life, but you, I mean, the Europa, that's literally we, all water, we, and we, there's a layer of okay, ice. Look, okay, look, we Who don't know when you check there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We, we digress. He's, he's he's like, loves it. You, 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 loves you, you had a little bit of mini beast there. I like that. Yeah. For once, no, this is a brotherly beast. Yo, bro. Come on, Let's make up. Yeah, How come you never know, spotted me once? You never know, but you behavior. You bro, know? like a minute That's ago, you were saying if aliens did exist, they wouldn't like me, and you're saying why didn't you spot me? <laughs> <laughs> is this guy for His real? expectations are unreasonable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look. look. Look, <laughs> so, se- so secrets exist. I would argue secrets have existed for tens and thousands of years. With I just think that's unacceptable. And I'm just not okay with that. And I think... So give us some solutions. Don't trust the mainstream media. Hold those to power to account. Always ask questions. Don't rely on what's being fed to you. Don't succumb yourself mentally, financially, physically to uh, stuff that's being fed to you via your screens. Hey, boom. Is that cool? For the, is, is that a good what he's mental saying, he, start he, Yeah, that's brilliant. Is he, that a good mental exactly. start-up? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he's saying his solution is that he wants to give life to this information and bring it to people's... Let people access it. Let them know by giving it names. Operation this, Operation this, Operation this. By operation giving this. it, yeah, credible sources that people aren't going to be like, yeah, that's wishy-washy. Like, they can't say Operation Northwood is wishy-washy. It's established. If that can happen and has happened, you can't then say it can't happen again. How would you then count if someone turned around and said to you, well, look... Uh, our government or this corporation or whoever it may be have had to resort to these kind of lifestyles and these kind of choices and these kind of very shady, murky, secretive actions and policies for the betterment of the people, for the betterment and the interests of the country. And you know how patriotism and nationalism... Is a then allow us to do that in our daily lives. Why are you controlling us and telling us to leave, uh, lead a certain life, follow certain rules when you you can't be doing the same thing? Why a different law for us and a different law for you? But, but we know that because when things do go wrong, when that whole credit crisis happened, then we we end up paying the price. You guys just get reimbursement from our money from the government, and then it's all fine now. But, 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 and you guys get your bonuses. That's messed. It is messed up. That's it messed, messed up. up. It is messed when up. things go wrong, there's no accountability for them. When things go wrong for us, yeah, just sling them, sling them in Guantanamo, okay. sling, sling them here, sling them there. It doesn't work like that, bro. bro. Lives are being ruined. So b- lives are being ruined because of disparity. Okay, so besides your cringeworthy news recaps and and the declassified podcast, which is you haven't seemed to have uploaded one for time, what are you doing about it? Sorry, uh, can you say? What did you say? What are you doing about it? What do you say? What are you doing about this whole thing? I'm on Bad Brothers. Well, he's bad as well. <laughs> no, us two, we're bad. He's the good one. You nicely worm that one out. But what are you doing then? Are we going to see more declassified podcasts discussing this stuff? Are we going to see more content? That's Try and stop me, bro. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Inch- uh, do you know what? It's, it's interesting what he's saying. He's saying what? The, the, the weekly recaps. The thing is, I haven't pushed that enough because I, I was scared that I wouldn't be consistent. But alhamdulillah, it is. And I just, I, my philosophy is you keep your head down. I keep my head down and I keep doing it. I stay away from people. I stay away from too much praise. I just keep prodding along and keep prodding out content. The more you start interacting with people and they start praising you and saying, oh, you're amazing. It makes you too relaxed. Complacent. Complacent. And you, you end up thinking you've made it. When Sometimes in reality, the quality of your work could diminish. Exactly. Yeah. When you've got Steve Crowder and all these guys getting hundreds and thousands and uh, we're getting like 20, 10, 15, more work needs to be done. It needs to be done regularly, consistently. And there's other things like if you open the can of worms, you're like, how do you do it? How do you become consistent? Well, you've got to follow the deen. Yeah, the, the principle and the solutions come from Allah. Mm. I mean, if you tap, tap into the source, I mean, you're getting it fresh. Yeah, you're getting unadulterated knowledge from the Quran that no one can touch. No one can touch that. 
like you said you questioned everything you said what about this what about that you can question everything you can question even thing i mean even theory of relativity has questioned uh, uh, has been questioned against new neutron stars apparently it breaks down there's certain clusters that have been found in the big bang theory that defy the entire theory i mean things can go up and down but never can what Allah said be wrong. Never can what Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said be wrong, and that's the first and f- foremost starting point. Once you are grounded in your faith and you understand yourself and who you are, because nowadays our identity is being confused. Yeah, there's this identity, there's that yeah. identity. You're this, you're that, or maybe you're this, or maybe you're that. And you're too busy. You come home. You're watching a program. You're being told constantly. Your brain's in alpha format. You're being fed stuff. You don't have time to kind of just sit down, go out. You know, just just sit outside for two hours, just listening to nature and the, replenishing your DNA segments and decreasing your d- depression, eating healthy foods, being cautious about what you're eating, going to the gym, looking after your Have mother. Have you been going to the gym? I've started. Yeah, that's good. Started doing what? Going to the gym. I. Well, you're what? not listening to yourself. No, I'm just trying to establish what you what you're trying to achieve, really. Bro, you, you said. You know, if if I if I tense this, bro, it's just gonna be game over. If you tense that, you might break your arm, your own arm, mate. <laughs> bro, <laughs> anyway. I tense it. Might as straighten it again. <laughs> I I take this guy seriously, but his I just can't stop staring at his family pack. <laughs> okay, but look, okay, Tika. So so you know all the stuff that we've discussed. Do you then see that Islam as as a comprehensive way of life as as a deen as an ideology as a a fully holistic way of life is an actual alternative not just an alternative but an actual resistance to everything that we've, dis- we've discussed 100% and history bears testament to that Humble. islam is something that has worked it continues to work and that's why people are cheesed off with it and every other way of life is constantly being challenged it's morphed it's being changed islam unadulterated it's there and after every certain amount of like a thousand years or a hundred years or whatever Allah sends reformers mujaddids so the deen hundred years I know there's one after every well it's it's a Qurun or it's so So generation hundred years generation hundred years but that's I mean we're being looked after we're being looked after and the thing is do you think do you you think you're a, a mujaddid in the sense of a YouTube no, 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 no chance. Yeah, you're not. No. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> no way, bro. Yeah, you're not, you're not. Yeah, stuff, stuff like that, no. Yeah. Um, I, I do hope that I can give rise to somebody like that. I always pray that in my progeny, Allah, you know, somebody comes that is the one that stands in front of the Jal and the Jal, you know, vanquishes I'm, 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 inshallah, inshallah. But we, we should make du'as like that. That in our progeny, because of us and that Allah, our blood, Allah keeps Absolutely. purified. Absolutely. And... Yeah, if you make dua, make it big or go home, innit? Mm. And on that note, I guess uh, this very ajeeb episode of the Blood Brothers. You had me on the there. defense a lot. Yeah. That was good. That was good because you know what? Well, but we're not a done yet. Jam yourself, like... innit? What? We're not done. Well, now, what were you going to say? Yeah, I, I'm just saying that because uh, a lot of conspiracies do just get shut down or whatnot. So it's good that it was a realistic back and forth. Yeah. Because this is how it's going to be in real life. When you do bring out some of this stuff, even when you talk about conspiracies like working, working, doing stuff for five pillars, people are going to be like, did he working? I mean, you know. What's, a conspiracy. It's just, it's a, it is a conspiracy, is. you know. I'll see no evidence for it when I look there. It's, okay, look, just so you just. Do you, see, do you yeah. see it wobbling? <laughs> yeah, but I've got a bit of a stomach in it. Look, Zakhla Khair for coming on. Bro. No. It's an absolute us. pleasure. Really? 100%. Honestly. Honestly, bro. Wallah, man. Anything for you. Anything for you. This is just for, for those uh, mugs watching. Wallahi, man. Dili, first time you came on my podcast. Wallahi, we click like this. Yeah. We click like this. Ever since then, bro, we've clicked. This has just been for, for these guys. Bro, come on, man. <laughs> come on, bro. But Dili is my brother. Blood brother. That's a couple of people. 100% bro 100% but anyway, well, we're, we're all doing different things in different of course of course. different means um, look at, you know uh, every every guest that we have on the podcast um, we invite them to three challenges um, I wouldn't know because I didn't watch I know I know that I know that you don't watch that's what we're telling you that's what we're telling you the dun 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 obviously the why is there another dun in there no, I added it oh. I did too so an arm wrestle I'm but dying to see your hair you know that bro yeah I'm thinking is he bald has he got plaits bald with hair on the ha- side has he got tattoo 
Yeah, you know that. Yeah, that the the tin pans. Yeah, pans, yeah. <laughs> Montgomery pans. <Yeah>. Smithers, <laughs> Smithers. So listen, yeah. it's arm wrestle, but I feel so bad giving you an arm wrestle. I just I don't oh know. no, you. I don't think you stand much of a chance. You know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you might just look at the pack and be like, uh, thumb war not two pack but this is one pack thumb war or you have to try some pawn which I've actually finished <laughs> nah, nah let me look first yeah let, let me try the finished pawn there's loads there's loads bro <laughs> no there's chupari and there's chaman bahar that's right that's right what about like a sandwich or something we'll no, no? <laughs> this is a this is a, Bengal, nah, nah, nah. This is a Bangladesh we're gonna get you crunk put, put something Come in on. the sandwich no 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 so uh, would you like an arm wrestle yeah go on then really yeah. I, I'll let you use two arms alright go on then Go. This is jokes. <laughs> yes. It should be fun. Are you left-handed? No, right-handed. Mashallah. But I think you're the kind of guy. Even if you were left-handed, you'd force yourself to become right-handed. Okay. So you, you are allowed to use two arms. Round one. Five. All right. Three. You three. You are finished. <laughs> 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 Moisture in my hand. <laughs> Sweaty palms. Sweaty pits, man. Yes. Okay. That was so like I didn't expect that, Sean. Bro, come on. It's called an ambush. Okay. That was an ambush. Okay, you're you're necking, you're it, you're necking some pond though. Okay, try some shapari. Nice, nice. No, no, there's no palm because I finished it. That's right, that's right. Look, so, so this is. Oh, uh, shapari. I like shapari. Yeah, so you have a morsel then. Where, where are you from in Pakistan? Uh, the Pakistan bit. No, the main. So you yeah, what's it? I live in the main bit. Yeah, so not Kashmiri. No. Yeah, because Lahori's and Papa Punjabis, they have pawn. They have metap on. Uh, whereas, it's not really a Kashmiri thing, is it? Mm. The Lahori's love it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And a bit of sweetness. Be generous with that, yeah? Yeah. Go on. That smells nice, though. Yeah, it tastes better. It is nice. Try some new. Yeah, if you don't like it. It's sweet, isn't it? It's sweet, it's aromatic. Are you being serious? No, 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 he's messing around. No, you can't, you can't. No, 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 here. No, 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 no. It's okay. He's like, you got a bit of support in your bed. Yeah. Save it for the journey, yo. Deshaun, aka Smile to Jannah. Hi! It was an absolute pleasure, my dear bro. Barakallahu feek for having me, bro. Flood Brothers Podcast. A five pillars of mad monologues production. <laughs>